Why is everybody so mad at Rob Manford? Isn't he just doing his job? As baseball commissioner, he works for the 30 owners of MLB. He answers to them, he serves them, and only them. I once asked Los Angeles Times reporter Bill Shaken, who does the commissioner answer to? The owners of the 30 major league teams. The commissioner works for them. He does not work for the fans. He's hired by the owners. He reports to them. His job, his main priority, his prime directive is to protect the profits of those 30 owners. And when it comes to the Astro science stealing scandal, his first and foremost priority as commissioner of baseball is to make the sign stealing scandal go away. Manfred recently sat down with ESPN's Carl Ravitch. I've taken the opportunity to cut through the PR babble and try to show how the commissioner is gonna go about this and nearly impossible task. Do I wish that um, I could have figured out a way to do this that would have um, sparked less controversy publicly? Yeah, I do. Uh, I don't know what that is, is sitting here right now. So there you have it right there. His main goal is to spark less controversy publicly. I mean, it's to, to make this go away. We, we, we felt that once um, there had been the reporting with the amount of detail there was on this topic, that we owed it to the fans and the other teams to gather the facts and lay them out in a very transparent way. I tried to get the facts. Uh, I laid them out in as transparent a way a a a as I could lay them out so people could, in fact, make their own judgments. So he wanted to get the facts out. He wanted people to, to know what was going on so people could actually make some sort of knowledgeable assessment about what was going on. But then he goes on to say this. Um, I, I think n detailed knowledge of the facts about what went on here is less widespread among people than you might think. And I think that some of the views that get expressed are exaggerated because they don't really understand what happened. So on the one hand, he wants people to go ahead and have their opinions and, and have transparency so that people can know what's going on. And then when people like Bellinger or certain people talk about cheating in the game, I mean, he, on the other hand, he says, well, people don't have enough knowledge to go ahead and make these judgments. So it's a bit confusing. But fundamentally, um, the obligation to make sure players are playing within the rules falls on the general manager and the field manager. Luna was the baseball official, the highest ranking one. Um, we reached the conclusion he either knew or should have known what was going on and that he did inadequate things to prevent this type of behavior. All right, so Luna went down. He was basically the fall guy. I mean, um, isn't it also the commissioner's responsibility to know what's going on as far as cheating and, and do something about it? And he even admitted in this, this interview that they had been investigating this, you know, prior to it breaking. So it just seems odd that he, on the one hand, wants to hold Lunau accountable for not doing his job, yet the commissioner of baseball doesn't seem to be doing his. Well, I think the, the owner has the ultimate responsibility for what goes on as his franchise. I mean, that, you know, that goes back to the way we govern the game, right? I mean, that, that the owner has that obligation. So ultimately, he's saying the owner has the obligation to take responsibility, yet I don't see that the owners really had to take any responsibility. A $5 million fine and some uh, draft picks, okay, that is a penalty, but is, is the owner really taking responsibility or is he passing it down to his general manager? When you give a direct subordinate, um, you know, uh, an order, um, I don't think it's unreasonable to rely on the fact that that's gonna be carried right. out. And, and, cle and clearly uh, the commissioner has his order to carry out, and that order is to minimize, make it go away, get on with it. And that ain't gonna be so easy. And I understand that people want to see them punished for that, and in a perfect world, they would have been punished. And so then the question is, what it keeps this from being the perfect world? What kept you from punishing the players? And the truth is he went on to explain it uh, rather candidly, I thought. We knew if we had disciplined the players, in all likelihood, we were going to have grievances and grievances that we were going to lose on the basis that we never properly informed them of the rules. Given the fact that we didn't think we could make discipline stick with the players, we made the decision we made. And that decision really means we took the path of least resistance. We did what's best for the owners. 
not necessarily what's best for the fans. And in my opinion, not, not what's best for the game. Whatever um, dissatisfaction is out there with the grant of immunity to players, I think it would have been 10 times worse if you let the management people off and then tried to go after the players. Wow, that is a really candid statement. Um, going after the players would have made this whole situation 10 times worse. Well, maybe it would have made it 10 times more right. Look, Mike Fires, um, in my view, did the industry a service. Um, he, he opened the door here. Without that opening of the door, um, we would not have been able to ha conduct the effective investigation that we did. Without that opening of the door, none of this would have come to light. We would still be looking down on our, on our fields of play as fans, just blind to what was going on below us. And that would be uh, an unfair rigged game. And that's not good for baseball. And the commissioner knows it. Uh, we would not have been able to impose the disciplines that were imposed. We would not have been able to probably take the prophylactic measures that we're going to take with respect to 2020. And it's important, um, painful, but important that we clean all that up. And, you know, I would say a little bit too late because I do feel like you knew what was going on. You've, you, you even said that you were doing some investigations beforehand. And until that article came out, and until Mike Fryers said he was going to put his name on it and not be an anonymous source, which was very brave, um, you didn't act. You didn't act. And you probably never would have because your biggest concern is the 30 owners that you work for. And their biggest concern is keeping the money flowing. I'm Tom Wilson for Baseball Comment.